What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Gideon's Tactical. We are doing a review of the third Boker knife we have had on this channel, and I am pretty much digging this. Not too much I can complain about. This is a limited edition Boker Kalashnikov push button open assist. We're going to jump on into this review. This is a limited dish. I got this from Blade HQ. Blade HQ does a great job with some limited edition items, uh, be it like Kershaw Skylines, this Boker, um, just all sorts of different stuff. They do a great job. I highly recommend going to Blade HQ. I'm not, you know, a sponsor of them or anything like that. They're great though with limited edition stuff at crazy good prices. The basic specs for us though for this particular knife is seven and a half inches overall. We got a blade length of 3.25 inches. We have a blade thickness of 0.115, so pretty thin. Os 8, a sorry, Os 8 steel, just straight Os 8 right there. Made in Taiwan. Luna handle, handle length is 4.25. Handle thickness is 0.65, so just over an inch, I mean half an inch thick. Weighs 3.5 ounces, made in Taiwan, like I said. Tip up, left or right carry, lanyard hole. That's pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump on into this. This is the push, push button assisted open uh, automatic, I guess is what you would call it, item. And man, it is just so awesome, so much fun to play with. Just whips out with authority. Probably the most, the strongest spring I've ever seen in any assisted opening knife. Now you have to be really careful when you are ordering one of these Boker Kalashnikovs. A lot of these are not push button open assisted. They're just push button locks, which then means that you basically, if you've seen the button lock Boker Jim Wagner knives, you have to push the button in and then flick your wrist to try and open it. There's no thumb studs or anything like that and it becomes very difficult to deploy it and I don't like that deployment at all. But this one is the open assisted model so just really read what you are buying before you purchase it if you are wanting the open assisted model. I do know that this open assisted model is considered a switchblade in many cities or states so you really got to be careful. Read your your state laws before you order a knife like this because you don't want to be caught with it and then get you know busted for having basically an illegal weapon because um, that could happen to you. So those are just kind of things I wanted to touch on. Let's actually talk about the blade itself now. Full flat grind, loving it. Man, I love it. And with how thin the blade is, it is razor hair popping, razor sharp. You could shave with this baby out of the box. And that full flat grind is so awesome. Stone wash finish, you can get this in serrated as well. And it's just awesome. I love it. Got a really good belly to it, just perfect spear point kind of design. Just awesome, I think, in my opinion. Just great for slicing, EDC tasks, penetrating if you had to in a tactical format, definitely. It does have a thin tip, so you do have to be careful. You do not want to be using this as a pry bar, or trying to you know like pry open something. You will chip that blade, but it is razor thin for pop, you know, puncturing, penetrating, or EDC tasks, you know, getting out splinters, that sort of stuff. Opening packaging is going to be a breeze with this full flat grinded Kalashnikov by Boker Plus. Okay, let's go ahead and go on to the deployment. The push button design, if you can see there, the button is flush almost with the aluminum handle. You definitely do have to give it a good push to get it to deploy. Uh, so it's not going to accidentally deploy in your pocket, which is nice. But you, at the same time, I would have liked to almost have it a little bit higher raised and a little easier to deploy because I really have to think about it when I push it to open it. It's not like a, you know... Um, Something I can just do without even thinking, boom, it's opening up. I really have to think about pushing this button for it to deploy. So that's the only thing with that. But aside from that, man, it just whips out, almost jerks my hand every time I deploy it. It's just awesome and just so much fun. Just a joy to use. So the deployment is fantastic in my opinion. Uh, you just really have to think about pushing the button. It's not something, maybe with like a lot of practice you could think about. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, you you're, you're definitely got to think about that button when you hit it and open it and deploy it. Go ahead and go on to a lockup. The lockup is this pin design back here, if you can see that. Hopefully you can. You can see when I push the button, it moves. Okay, so it's locked in. There is blade play left and right, zero up and down. There's no up and down play, but you are going to get some left and right play just in this in the... Just how it is, an uh, open assisted automatic knife, and I get, I'm seeing that a lot of those are like that. You do have a little side to side play just so the blade opens and swings open really fast and easy and nice. 
So, but you just push the button in, that little pillar moves out of the way, then you really got it. You got to use two hands to close this. You're not going to be able to close this one handed. It's very, very difficult. The spring is very strong. You can do it. It's just really a pain in the butt. If you can see here, I mean, I'm taking, uh, there we go. Versus if I just push the button in, close it two handed, boom, you're done. So uh, the lockup is, in my opinion, particularly for EDC and probably most penetrating stabbing tactical situations, it's not going to fail on you. You know, I mean, that pillar is there and you really got to push it in to get that pillar to move then that you can collapse the knife. So you're not really worried about this collapsing on you. And in my opinion, for an open assisted knife, it's very average. You know, it's a lot like a lot of SOG knives where you're going to get that blade play left and right, but it's good and strong up and down. So it's not going to collapse on your hand. Let's go ahead and go on to Ergos, ergonomics. We got awesome amount of jimping right there, both on the handle and the blade itself. Now, it's not as aggressive as some others that we've seen by Spyderco or other companies, but it's definitely an awesome amount of traction. Feels really good to your touch, to your hand. It's not going to slide around. I love this type of design where it's just a nice flat, you know, no thumb ramps and stuff. Thumb, ramp, thumb ramps are nice, but I just like this kind of design. It's just sleeker, slimmer looking, looks nicer in your hand. And it's just as more functional, I think, because you can choke up if you have to. You can scoop back if you need to. And you're not really worried about trying to figure out where your thumb ramp is and use the knife. So that jimping is awesome, though. feels really good and locked up in your hand. And then the handle itself, it's aluminum. So, you know, if it's hot out, the handle's going to be somewhat hot. If it's cold, the handle's going to be cold. But it feels really good in my hand. It is a little thick. You know, this isn't, you know, a little thin blade. I mean, it's definitely a thick, just over half an inch thick handle. But it feels really good in my large size hands. The finger grooves are perfectly designed and cut out so that my all my fingers rest really nice with plenty of room to spare. you got these really nice ridges here. They put really good texturing on the handle itself. You can see that. It's really nice really dig that so it feels very comfortable in my hand and i could definitely use it in a penetrating tactical stabbing format regardless if it's a reverse grip or not and it's not going to be sliding out of my hands with that jimping and then these finger grooves all along it's just going to work really well you got jimping on the back as well when you are doing the reverse grip so it feels really good there when you're holding the knife regardless of which way you are holding it so that's awesome. Pillar construction, three and a half ounces. Awesome for an open assisted blade. You cannot complain about that. Anything under four ounces is awesome and I love. And the pillar construction definitely helps with that. With plenty, less, we got, you know, a, a, another half ounce before we'd even hit four ounces. And this is just awesome. Feels very lightweight in your hand, but very well balanced. I believe the balancing is right over the button. I believe if I can get it here. Let's see. Yeah, it's feeling like right about there. So just back from behind the, the button. But it feels very well balanced in my hand. You know, it feels really, really good. And then the pocket clip and lanyard hole. You got a lanyard hole there, nice and large. You get a paracord lanyard through there, no problem. Definitely far away from the pocket. Rides extremely deep. I love that. And you can unscrew it, flip it over to the left-hand side. So it's left or right. Totally ambidextrous, but the button is not. So if you're a lefty, you'd be deploying it with your index finger over here. And then you'd have to be closing it like that, which would be very easy. It's feeling very comfortable for me to do that. And actually, it almost feels better than a righty. <laughs> this actually feels a little bit better because I'm using my thumb if I'm a righty. If I'm a lefty, I'm using my index finger. And it actually feels more comfortable and it's easier to deploy with my left hand than my right hand now that I'm doing it. That's hilarious. So, lefties, you're going to love this blade. Uh, but that pocket clip is nice, very large, long, strong. See how strong that is? Man, that's nice. I like that, particularly for a loop-over design. That's one of the strongest loop-over designs I've ever seen. But it's, you're barely even going to see it in your pocket. So, those are the basic specs for you. How do I feel about this Kalashnikov by Boker Plus? Uh, I'm digging it. I mean, it's an awesome blade. If you like... Uh, automatics or open assisted blades push button and it's legal to carry hey man go for it for the price point you're looking at this one is you know a, a limited dish so these ones are going to go for a lot more but the average you can get these with black handles black blades black handle satin blades gray handle serrated non serrated uh, tanto non tanto so there's lots of options with this kalashnikov uh, you're looking probably around the $45 mark, 45 to 50 bucks for the open assisted push button design. The non-open assisted where you just push the button and you have to whip it out yourself manually, those go for around 35 bucks. So just depending on uh, what you're looking for, I do not care for the manuals, but the open assisted ones are pretty freaking awesome. So that is what I would recommend. I would definitely recommend it if you like push button autos. So at a good price, budget, OS 8 steel, you know, nothing to complain about there either. So 
Thanks for watching this Kalashnikov review by Boker. Stay equipped, stay prepared, and I will see you out there.